are going to talk about two important newspaper articles which are going to be very important, very significant for the civil services examination. So let's start this video without any further delay. So the first important newspaper article we are going to discuss is regarding the uh, delimitation panel. So a petition was filed in the Supreme Court regarding the dismissal of the constitution of the Jammu and Kashmir delimitation commission, right? So this particular petition has been rejected by the Supreme Court or it has been dismissed by the Supreme Court or this particular challenge has been dismissed by the Supreme Court, right? So now these kinds of articles are important for the GS paper too that is statutory, regulatory and various quasi-judicial bodies because delimitation commission is a statutory body formed under the delimitation act, right? So let's first understand the context of it and then we will understand what is delimitation, what is delimitation commission and what is delimitation, delimitation act, right? So the Supreme Court on Monday dismissed a challenge to the constitution of the Jammu and Kashmir Delimitation Commission to readjust constituencies in the new union territory, right? So this particular challenge was regarding the constitution of the delimitation commission in the state of Jammu and Kashmir, right? So the Supreme Court has say, says that article 2 and 3 of the constitution enable the parliament to create new states and union territories. Accordingly, the two new, new uh, sorry, two new union territories have been created, right? That is Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh, right? So now the Jammu and Kashmir Reorganization Act which created the two new union territories assigns the role of readjustment of constituencies to the Delimitation Commission under the Delimitation Act of 2002 because the union territories have been formed. Now these union territories will require, uh, require some of the readjustment, right? So that people can get a fair chance to vote for their own legislators. Now this is done under the delimitation commi uh, commission under the uh, sorry this is done under the delimitation act of 2002 sorry the delimitation commission is formed under the delimitation act of 2002 now and it is a law made under the article 3 and can always provide for readjustment of the constituencies in the newly constituted states or union territories throughout the delimitation commission so the Supreme Court found that there is no illegality associated with the association of delimitation commission under the order of March 6 to 2020. Now this March 6, 2020 order basically formed the delimitation commission of Jammu and Kashmir, right? So its legality has been upheld by the Supreme Court. So now what exactly is this delimitation? Delimitation literally means the act or process of fixing limits or boundaries of the territorial constituencies in a country to represent changes in the population, right? So if we have a state and it has uh, basically four constituencies, now this is a hypothetical state, now the constituencies are many, but in this case we are taking up a state which has four, four, you know, four constituencies, right? Now if it is divided into two parts, then, then, then we will have only one, uh, two constituencies on each side, right? Now the two constituencies are not enough for that kind of population or representing that particular population. So we will form three constituencies. Now this will require the readjustment of the boundaries in order to represent the changes in the population over a period of time because after the 10 years the population may be different. It may be, uh, it may be, it may be lessened or it may increase, right? So in order to uh, in order to fix that problem, the delimitation is done. Now, why delimitation is done? To provide equal representation to equal segments of a population. Second is fair division of the geographical area so that one political party does not have any advantage over the others in an election. Now, the third one is to follow the principle of one vote, one value. So these are the three points uh, on why the delimitation happens. Let's now talk about how delimitation is carried out. So basically under Article 82, the parliament enacts a delimitation act after every census. And under Article 170, states also get divided into territorial constituencies as per delimitation act after every census. And once the act is in force, the union government sets up a delimitation commission. Now this delimitation uh, commission is formed under the delimitation act. When the delimitation act comes into force, then the delimitation commission is formed. 
Now the delimitation, the first delimitation exercise was carried out by the president in 1952-51 and the delimitation act was enacted in 1952 and the delimitation commission have been formed uh, or set up four times that is 1952, 1963, 1973 and in 2002 under the acts of 1952, 1962, 1972 and 2002. Why there was lag of uh, lag in between these uh, years? After 10 years, every 10 years census happens. But why the delimitation did not happen? This delimitation did not happen because of some of the political problems, right? Now, there was no delimitation after the 1981 and uh, after the 1981 and 1991 censuses. And in uh, after the 2011 census as well, the delimitation didn't happen. That is why we follow delimitation act of 2002, right? Now, what is basically delimitation commission? Delimitation commission is basically appointed by the president of India and works in the collaboration with the election commission of India. Now, if we talk about the composition, then it has the retired Supreme Court judge. Then we also have the chief election commissioner and we have the respective state election commissioner. Now, these three people form the delimitation commission. Now, what are its functions? It is to determine the number and the boundaries of constituencies to make population of all constituencies nearly equal, to identify seats reserved by the scheduled caste and scheduled tribes wherever their population is relatively large. So these are some of the functions of the Delimitation Commission. Now the Delimitation Commission comprises of three people, right? Now they may have difference of opinion. So if a, uh, a difference of opinion occurs, the opinion of the majority prevails. In this case, we have the three members of the delimitation commission. If two vote in the favor of the any kind of judgment or any kind of action, then that particular thing will happen despite the fact that one is not agreeing to it. Now the delimitation commission in India is a high power body whose orders have the force of law and cannot be called in the question before any court, right? So this is it regarding the delimitation commission. We have talked about delimitation. We have also talked about the delimitation act and how delimitation is carried out. So this is it regarding this particular newspaper article. Let's now jump to the next important newspaper article. Now, this particular newspaper article talks about the retail inflation figures of the January month, right? So, now it says that it is 6.52%. Now, the retail inflation is important for us because of the GS paper 3, that is Indian economy and issues arising. Issues relating to planning, mobilization of resources, growth, development and employment. Now, these kinds of figures are basically used by the policy makers in order to form the policies ahead. And they are also used by the Reserve Bank of India in order to make changes in the repo rate. Now, the repo rate changes will lead to decrease or increase in the inflation. The work of the Reserve Bank of India basically in this case is to uh, is, to, uh, is to lower the inflation at all costs, right? So let's first understand the context of this particular newspaper article and then we will talk about what is inflation and what are the types of inflation, right? So India's retail inflation shot back up to 6.52% in January after a two-month streak below the 6% mark with consumer food prices hardening again to 5.94% from 4.2% in December 2022 amid a broad based pickup in price trends across goods and services, right? So now in this case or in this particular month of January, the rural inflation has outstripped urban inflation in the recent months and firmed up from 6.05% in the December to 6.85% in the January, while the urban consumers faced a retail price rise of 6% in January compared to 5.4% in December. So both the rural uh, rural consumers as well as the urban consumers are facing the brunt of the inf retail inflation. But in the case of the rural in, uh, rural consumers, the inflation has been more significant, right? So now that we have understood the context of it, let's understand what exactly is this inflation. So inflation is basically rise in the prices, which may be translated as the uh, decline of the purchasing power over the period of time. Now, if you can buy at this particular point of time, uh, 10 rupee, uh, 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 a, a kilo of potatoes for 10 rupees, then if the inflation increases, there is a 6% inflation, what will happen? 
there will be a increase in the prices and the rupees 10 now will have less purchasing power so basically inflation leads to loss in the purchasing power now that we have talked about inflation let's talk about the types of inflation now the inflation happens in three ways so the first is one kind of inflation is the demand pull inflation where the demand of a particular product or particular services leads to the inflation in the prices and the second one is the cost to push inflation whenever the cost of the particular product increases then that leads to the cost to push inflation and the third kind of inflation is the built-in inflation which leads which is the result of the basically the policies or any of the things which are inbuilt in the system right so these are basically three types of inflation demand pull inflation cost push, in, push inflation and then we have the built-in inflation now inflation is basically measured in some of the indexes now inflation uh, first kind of index we have the consumer price index now the consumer price index leads to the consumer inflation right when whatever is counted or inflation in terms of cpi is called cpi retail inflation and the figures we have discussed about them now the other kind of inflation or the other kind of inflation index is the wholesale price index when at the wholesale level the inflation occurs then it is known as wholesale inflation right so the first one is the retail inflation or the consumer price inflation then we have the then then we have what then we have the wholesale inflation right so these are the two ways in which we uh, basically count the inflation or we calculate the inflation right and in this case we have discussed about the retail inflation which stood at 6.52 percent for the month of january right so these are the figures regarding it and this is it regarding this particular newspaper article and this is it for the day thank you from my side do like and share the video and subscribe to this channel have a good day bye